So there, there we have uh, my thoughts on homeopathy, that what we're doing in homeopathy, in the serial evolution, is we are patterning the water. And the reason it's so significant, the reason homeopathy works in such a wonderful, magical way, so it starts affecting organisms emotionally, psychologically, is because we're expanding the spectrum, expanding the profile of the signal, getting harmonics and subharmonics, the opposite, diapason. <laughs> and with the succussion that we do in homeopathy, with the succussion that we do in homeopathy, we're recovering the amplitude of the signal. So we aren't just simply doing a dilution with the signal disappearing. Details of my thoughts on homeopathy you'll find on the website in brief in the letter to the British Journal of Homeopathy and in detail in the chapter on Beyond Substance. It's an experiment by Iwada Abuhada. After they moved to Earth Sciences over on Euron in the new building with power cables outside the building up on the eighth floor with electrical anomalies coming out of the ground away from the old lab with windows that opened and different humidity and, uh, and actually the Tattle Creek running right underneath it and an eight foot water table. After they moved it was became hard to reproduce the experiment. So, one thing that would be, would be so wonderful, if, if 10 or 20 labs that are doing dot block, and while this technology has been replaced, while it's no longer the main technology for identifying DNA as it was in the 80s and into the 90s, it's still practiced very, very widely in university labs and scientific labs around the world. And once you're doing the dot block, once you're doing the dot plot, taking things out to the minus 10, it's very little effort, extra effort to take it out further, to the minus 30, to the minus 40. If a dozen labs would replicate this dot plot, take their dot plot out to the minus 40 and the minus 50, and see if, they're seeing, if they see an ultra-dilution phenomena. If 20 labs did it and nobody saw the ultra-dilution, we'd know that this is a fragile, either a hoax or a very fragile procedure. But if even one lab saw this phenomena, we could start to work out how homeopathy works. And it's going to tell us so much about the fine patterning of the physical world and the profound effects of that fine patterning. So tell your friends who are doing dot plots to uh, take them out to ultra dilution and to get back to me.